Let's take a look okay. at that inflation number first of all. 9.19% is where we're at at this stage. And many saying that it's going to start having an impact on especially foreign activity within the Kenyan market space. What's your view? I believe what's happening uh, <clears throat> as far as the inflation aspect is concerned is that um, you're going to see, I mean, this is just the beginning point of it because when you look at uh, the aspect of fuel prices, which is actually inadvertently affecting uh, food commodity prices at the end of the day, is actually going to affect uh, the stock market at the end of the day because um, one, we're looking at, um, I mean, by, the, by, the, by mid of the second quarter, we'll be looking at um, double digits and foreigners are going to, you know, want to, you know, save their, their savings because local investors are pulling out because their, their, their purchase power has been reduced by significantly, at least by 27%. So inflation is still going up until fundamental issues are actually addressed. And one is the aspect of fuel, because I believe um, increment in fuel prices in this country has nothing to do with uh, any international fundamental aspects, but local uh, management issues between the Ministry of Energy and uh, local, you know, fuel suppliers. That's why the, the, the real key issue is. And then also commodity prices need to be need to be checked in. But then at the end of the day, you'll see that um, if this is not checked, then it's going to have a full 360 cycle effect on the economy. Steve, what's interesting is that it's in this context that we had Equity uh, Bank come out with a very bullish outlook for 2011 and the bank's transactional model expected to benefit from economic growth of 5.7% and that uh, is the growth uh, that's actually been plugged into its model. Some aren't as confident in reaching that 5.7% target though, are you? Um, I'm a bit pessimistic as far as um, the outlook for equity is because one, when you look at the performance of uh, its key directors, they've been offloading the, 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 the key assets on the stock market. When you look at uh, the, the kind of clients or the target actually looking at the people at the bottom of the pyramid, uh, the people who actually you know, do a lot of banking with it. I believe um, the, the bank's outlook as far as the Kenyan market is concerned shouldn't be as bullish as expected. But maybe from uh, their strategy in terms of actually getting into the rest of the East African market with uh, you know, they're planning to open five more branches in the next uh, coming three months. Uh, the only outlook saving aspect will be you know, the East African market in terms of trying to actually penetrate the financial footprint there. But as far as the Kenyan market is concerned, there are a lot of uh, issues that are affecting its management, a lot of issues that are affecting um, you know, people at the bottom of the pyramid that actually bank with it. Its, its strategy needs to change a bit. But then also when you look at the aspect of inflation and uh, other factors that are actually affecting the economy, politics, um, the, 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 the dwindling, you know, the fluctuating shilling against you know, the dollar. These are factors when you put them together, the outlook shouldn't be so bullish. You talk about them offloading assets. Having said that, we've seen uh, Equity Bank and its business partner, British American Group, increasing their stake in housing finance by 3% over the past year as, you know, the twin investors race to tighten up their grip of the mortgage financier. What are you making of that strategy that Equity Bank has with regards to housing finance? Um, what I know is real estate is the one aspect that hasn't really picked up in this country. And I believe equity strategy is to try and tap into that sector because um, at the end of the day, um, you know, with the new constitution, people are looking at actually uh, diversifying from, you know, the, the, the capital city to other regions in, in, in the country. And they'll be looking at, um, you know, real estate in terms of commercial buildings and residential aspect. And equity is actually looking into tapping this market exclusively because um, the, other, the other players in the industry have not really been to get, um, to get it right. And because they have a strong hold on housing finance they believe this is the, their key strategy because when you look at um, the development of the financial mm -hmm. markets it's more or less reached its plateau peak so there'll be no growth aspects coming out of that but the only aspect of growth uh, apart from telecommunications industry is the real estate so for them I believe the saving grace will be to tap into the real estate industry completely just taking a look at uh, one of the positives out of the commentary yesterday cost to income ratio and a higher non interest income seeming to be uh, holding the group in good stead. We looking at that cost to income ratio, a uh, cost at 54% of income coming down from 58%. Is that considerable enough stride in your books? It is. Um, when you when you look at the, the fundamental factors at the end of the day. However, uh, the next um, quarter is actually going to determine a lot as far as um, the group is concerned in terms of its financial outlook in this coming physical year. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we've had uh, Kenya's nation media group uh, saying that an upturn in the economic environment has helped it post a 32.7% jump in pre-tax profit, uh, which it's cautiously optimistic about sustaining. What did you make of those numbers? 
Um, the turnover of the group was actually impressive, going up by 17.2%. And also given the fact that they've been able to make a lot of um, diversification into the digital world, you know, trying to come up with a lot of aspects into the internet business and trying to, you know, play the social media hand in terms of, uh, you know, looking for maintaining the, the clientele they have and getting no, new clients on board. Because, you know, when you look at how the, peop the readership of uh, most of its products and services is going, people are going online. Um, but I believe... Um, if they keep up with the state of you know being in tandem with the changing times, they'll be able to sustain the outlook cautiously. However, if they don't and they get a strategy wrong, then they'll be looking at a very bad uh, second quarter because um, their competitors have actually picked up on what's happening in Just the industry. Just how much of a threat do you see electronic media posing for a company like this, Steve? A lot, because when you look at it in Kenya, actually, 62% uh, of most Kenyans who have um, access to the internet, access the, the, the newspapers via the mobile phone. So you realize at the end of the day, I wouldn't want to buy a newspaper, or I wouldn't want to watch the TV at the end of the day. All I get, I either watch a custom at YouTube online, or I you know, get my, my content via the mobile phone. So at the end of the day, uh, social media, the internet is actually posing a great threat. Uh, against um, such a group and that's why um, I believe they've just done a lot of realignment uh, last month in terms of the digital uh, team. Mm -hmm. They've actually gotten a full digital team to actually look at the content. Uh, they're developing their own API which they'll use to actually upload their own videos uh, compared to what they've been using currently, you know, uploading their videos on YouTube. But also I believe um, the Kenyan blogging community is actually coming up seriously against them. So the, the, the issue is going to be who gets content first. That would, that would be, you know, content is going to be the next gold. Well, while they uh, work on that strategy, not as profitable, battery maker ever ready. We had a full year profit plunging, pre-tax profit down 65%, and the usual suspects coming to bear here, competition and raw material costs. What did you make of the numbers there? I believe... Um, Everybody should get another excuse in terms of why they've been performing badly because for a while they've been saying competition is a key issue. I mean, has been the problem and, you know, uh, availability of cheap uh, contra brands from, from China. However, the government last year actually came up with legislation to deal with this. And I think the government even set up a counterfeit agency that actually specifically deals with it. And from, from my analysis that they've been doing pretty well in this. So I think uh, everybody needs to change his strategy, mm -hmm. needs to look at how to actually get clients on board. And also they, they need to be in tandem with, with, with the needs of the people. And I think this is where they're failing because at the end of the day, competition is a must in any business. But then they can't use that as an excuse year in, year out. But I believe if they don't change the strategy, we'll be looking at our probably the stock performing badly below two shillings in the next coming quarter. Well, a part of that evolving strategy, uh, the company announced that it's invested 22 million shillings in a new packaging line to help improve operational efficiencies moving forward. Any detail on what exactly we're looking at here and how soon the company could expect to start reaping rewards? Basically, uh, they're looking at repackaging. I know uh, the the the, con the the products to be able to compete with the with the, the cheap contrabands from China. However, they're missing the point by really not focusing on the customer at the end of the day because at the end of the day, the customer management aspect is where they fail, customer management systems. And, and I'm hoping that the, the management will actually look at this and be able to install this before they, they start ripping the results because we're looking at them uh, trying to actually benefit from this uh, in third quarter of this year.